My name is Anders Jensen. Let's learn some Microsoft Power Automate. Today we will see how we can convert US dates to UK dates. And let's dig into what a US date is and what a UK date is. So a US date format, that's where the months come before the days in the date. And a UK format, that date format, that is where the days come before months. So when working with dates, we want to have them in the same format, so then it's useful to con convert them. So we want to convert this US to a UK in this video. So first we will click Create in Power Automate. I'll just make an instant flow manually triggered. So I'll say Convert US to UK date and manually trigger the flow. Then I'll click Create. And I will initialize a variable. That will, one will be my date variable. But this variable that could easily come from your Excel sheet, your mail, your PDF, or whatever input source you have. So this one will be date US of the type string. And now I can put in my string. So I'll have the April, and I'll say 18th, and then 2020. So this one is a date in the US format. So we'll click new step and let me review my strategy. I first want to split this date up into three elements where I will have the months, the days and the years. After I've done that, I will um, concat a new string um, where I will just change these two things and build it up. But let's see it in action. So I'll say compose. First I will split it, remember? I'll click here, then I'll click the expression, and over here I'll just say split, parentheses, variables, then I'll have parentheses, and I'll, in single quotation marks, I'll just put my variable name from up here in, so that's state US, like this. Outside the parentheses, I'll say comma, single quotation marks, and now I'll choose where I want to split, that is by the forward slash. So that one will give us me exact three outputs, I'll click OK. It says the expression is invalid, but I'm not sure what this bug is, but it is in my Power Automate from time to time. You'll just have to click twice. So then click New Step. And now we will concat it into our UK order. So say Compose here. And we can see that we have the ability to or the possibility to use the outputs that we get from this compose here you can see it here but we'll create an expression so go to expression and we'll say concat like here and then we'll say outputs so that's the outputs from the compose and what we'll we'll need to specify in the parentheses single quotation mark compose we'll refer to this compose here and now we, we need to choose the element to come first and what we'll need to do is that we'll have their second element that was the days, right? We want to have that first. So, and the second element in the zero index list, that is number one, it's because it starts with zero. So, uh, square brackets, and then we'll say one. Now we will have a comma, and then we'll say we want a forward slash, because that is in the UK format as well. Then we'll say comma, and now we want the first output, that was the month. So we'll just say outputs again, parentheses, single quotation marks, compose, outside the parentheses, square brackets, and number zero, comma. And now we'll have another forward slash, that is to the years, like this, and then we'll say comma. Again, outputs, compose. Yeah, you have to do it three times, I know. Compose, and then outside the parentheses, we'll have number two. That was the years. So now we can click OK, click OK again, and now we're done. We can save it. We can test it to see. By the way, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That will really help me a lot. So now I run the flow. And we can see our flow ran successfully and we can go here and we can see that we indeed got the output in the UK format. That's it for today. Have a good day. Bye-bye.